Hi, and welcome. My name is Michael Vera, and I am from San Antonio, Texas. And we are going to focus on learning Samplitude Silver, uh, specifically the SoundCloud edition. And we are going to um, dive into some basics, uh, basically how to create a new project, adjust some of the basic settings before you dive into recording um, basically choosing your inputs and your outputs uh, changing the sampling rate and uh, some metronome settings stuff like that um, this video was created for the week two of the introduction to music production class on Coursera.com and so uh, let's begin. First of all, you have to open the, the program. And this particular is a, a test program. It's a trial. So go ahead and open it. And to start a new project, you are going to have to click on this link here to open up a new project. And there we go. We have the project open. And this is your workstation here. As we can see, we have the main level here. And uh, we have the play button, the stop button, uh, rewind, and go to the beginning, record. And uh, it's, it's pretty, pretty uh, self-explanatory. But let us begin by adjusting some of the settings before we start recording here uh, in particular I have a a blue G microphone connected so we want to uh, the driver system is MME and uh, it'll vary based on what microphone you have connected and we want 1024 a sampling rate here and 128 here uh, and, and this is just uh, uh, particularly for my for my microphone I tried using 128 but it it didn't work out so uh, the recommended recording setting is 128 uh, bits or, or buffer that it samples per per second and so that's okay we change uh, 24 bit and then let's move on to our audio devices we can see that here we could choose what audio device we're going to use for our recording and um, it's, like we said it's a Yeti microphone from blue and here is the MIDI settings we're not going to go into that and over here we could choose whether we want to hear a click when we're recording. Um, this is very useful so that you're in tempo when you record. Um, you could also choose it to play back the clicks. And you could put how many measures you want to click before uh, as a start, you know, to get you into tempo before. Uh, you start recording and this is just basically the sound that you want to hear for each uh, for the first beat and for the following beats and um, I'll put the bass pretty self-explanatory and then here we're going to change the the format of recording to 24 bit it's a it was a default 16 bit so we change it to 24 and playback pretty self-explanatory here you don't need to move much just uh, the global play device which is the uh, the output uh, so we choose our, our speakers here and that's basically it for uh, just a simple recording we click OK and now we're going to uh, change the sampling rate as a uh, we discussed in class we prefer to have a sampling rate of uh, 
of 4800 uh, 48000 uh, hertz and so we are going to change that setting and we we go to program preferences uh, I'm sorry it's in playback and record we go to record options and then we have here uh, you can see that my microphone is already uh, too high to begin with so we need to adjust that we put it in 24 bit like we said there you go and then uh, this is basically the output of the audio file we want in uh, wave and not mp3 since mp3 is is a loss you you lose uh, you lose quality and wave is is the is the whole thing it's the highest quality lossless basically and uh, recording device we already did that and the file path and so we said we wanted to change the sample rate to 48,000 Hertz that just uh, creates more depth to the sound that you are recording and so we close this out and we begin recording and as you can see we have a click for one measure and then it begins to record and uh, we could zoom in and there we go we have our file here we stop and then it asks us if we want to use the recording say yes and we could play it back one measure and then it begins to record and uh, here we have some settings basically this is uh, this is automatic auto crossfade mode and uh, th that just says whether you want it to to uh, fade uh, fade in or out and automatically and then we have our cut tool here which is basically you know, if we want to set our a place to cut, and we choose the object, and then uh, we could split objects. Like for example, if you want two, two instead of one, and so you could separate it. And then we could choose this and cut it out, and then paste it back again. Oh, sorry, that's copy. We paste it back again. And that's it. It's pretty basic uh, stuff here. And so then uh, we make sure we save the project. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Thank you for your time and for listening for this, uh, this tutorial. And I hope you enjoyed it and you received some benefit from it. And um, I... In particular, I learned a lot uh, in making this video because this was um, a new program for me. I, I, the previous program I used was um, uh, Music Maker Deluxe, and that that isn't really a DAW. It, uh, it's just it's very basic, and so this um, this the DAW is is really good, and uh, so far from what I've seen. And so, you give it a try. Thank you, and thank you for your time, and have a great day.